everyone and welcome back to a brand new cruise vlog series. Hello! So we're driving to Gatwick, really really excited. It is coming up to 7am, our flight is at 10am or just after 10am. Yeah. So we should hopefully get there with a bit of time and we can check in and then have a little look around Gatwick Airport. I can't remember the last time I flew from Gatwick. I remember whenever I used to fly out to the ship to join it as crew, I used to fly out of Gatwick. Yeah, and I used to fly from Gatwick when I was younger a lot, but recently we've been flying a lot from Heathrow. But doing something new. Yeah. Staying in the long uh, stay car park. Yeah, so we'll document that and show you. I think you have to get a um, little bus across, do you? Yeah, a little shuttle bus, yeah. A little shuttle bus across. Um, but if you haven't watched this before, I'm Helena and this is my husband Martin, and we are off on a cruise. We're going on to Piano Azura. Very excited. We are sailing around the Canary Islands. So we're going to Tenerife, Madeira, La Palma, Fuerteventura, and then back to Tenerife. And we actually have an overnight in Tenerife on the last day. And we're also traveling with my family. So my parents and my brother, they're on the way to the airport as well. Looking forward to it. through the barrier because we pre-booked it auto registers your car so you just drive up to the barrier and then it should open and then this is a long stay look at this weather <laughs> hopefully it's a bit brighter in Tenerife so we have found parking space it is busy in the car park we're zone busy. C I don't know what number yet but we're gonna take a picture Last as soon as we photo. pass the sign because <laughs> I feel like when we get back we'll just be totally lost yeah. and there's a lot of cars <laughs> so yeah now we're gonna grab our bags and then head to the uh, shuttle so we are through that was actually really easy yeah. um, and it's only just coming up to eight now so we've got about two hours. Yeah, I prefer being early. <laughs> yeah, so we've got about two hours to explore, have a little, little look around the shops and gonna get some breakfast. So with p &O, you're allowed to bring on one litre of alcohol. So if you do wanna bring on your own spirits or anything like that, if you pick it up from duty free at the airport and then you can bring it on with you, but you can only bring it on on your embarkation day. So yeah, a little tip if you are travelling with p &O. It's very large, um, the duty free at Gatwick. So many products and perfumes. It's got a nice feel about it. Martin's found the games. We got Uno. We did want to get Uno. Yeah, we don't actually own Uno. But I think we want like a themed one. Yeah. I remember we used to have the Sesame Street one. That would be cute. Uh, <laughs> got lots of top trumps. Look, 007. 007. Everyone's favourite joint bear <laughs> with Winnie. Please look after this bear. Thank you. He's got a little suitcase. I've got Wellies on, on in this version. Days. I do love Paddington stuff. We do need to get a plush at some the point. Cutest That's stuff. a little version. Oh, that is so cute. <laughs> oh, it's an even littler version. <laughs> I love all this novelty stuff, like this huge tic tac. With the little tic tacs. <laughs> With little tic tacs inside. <laughs> so, when we used to work on cruise ships, you, our, you lived on I developed a slight addiction to crispy MMs. Um, because they sold these huge packs in the cruise shop. They're they weren't from, from the, the main crew shop bar, they were from the main shop. I splashed out. Um, I'd come like back from doing a show and just demolish a packet of crispy M&Ms. <laughs> Martin would come back to the cabin and I'd finished it all. I lived on Pringles. <laughs> so it is currently 8am but I did just consider a Nando's. <laughs> I feel like time doesn't exist at the airport. Like there's people having like four Oh no, meals. I thought, I didn't, I didn't think an actual Nando's. I thought like, did they do breakfast? Oh, Nando's they breakfast, they actually do. <laughs> so we're in Nando's, got a view yes. of the planes behind. They have got a breakfast menu. Yeah, this is like a novelty having Nando's for breakfast. I've gone for eggs benedict. And I've gone for the sausage roll. So my family are here, we're meeting them at the gate, we're just heading there now. <laughs> we took a wrong turn. There was like a pillar in front of the <laughs> gates we needed, so we went the wrong way. We've literally done about 5,000 extra steps 
but we're en route now. Martin's laughing at me because I said exaggerated. <laughs> 1,500 steps. 1,500 numbers, yeah. 1,500. <laughs> it felt like 5,000. <laughs> First time ever, we've got a seat next to us, so we're using this as our table. impressive cruise packing. Everything is in there! How many uh, kilograms is it? 7.8. 7. That is impressive. So we've got one bag, we're just waiting for our others. Woohoo! First case secured. Last one! Cases are all here. So we're just waiting for our transfer now to the cruise. We've got all our bags and we're Yay! in Tenerife! <laughs> Uh, it does feel warmer, but it is a little bit windy. You can see in the trees. Um, but yeah, very excited to get to the ship and to see it for the first time. So we're here and here she is. <laughs> um, it feels warmer as well. Um, we both had a little bit of a snooze on that coach, but it was only about 50 minutes. Yeah. And yeah, we're here, we've arrived. We're all getting ready to board. So first things first, when you get on, you have to go to your muster station and it's really quick. They just scan your boarding pass to say that you've been there. So we've done that and then Matt's at a different muster station. So we're gonna all walk together with him now so he can um, go to his muster station. So we've just dropped Matt off at his um, cabin. We showed him where it was because it's his first time ever on a cruise ship. And it is really overwhelming actually when you're on a cruise ship for the first time. Um, kind of for us as well because we've never been on this ship so we had to find it as well and now we're heading to our cabin so we're in our cabin we met our lovely cabin steward Jennifer she was actually waiting for us I think we were the last people oh, yeah. to reach the rooms we were, we were showing everyone else around but we're in we've already got one of our cases which is amazing um, but I thought before we start putting everything away I'll do a quick cabin tour so you can see what it's like so we are deck 12 our cabin is Four, one eight. One eight. I need to remember that. <laughs> and it's a balcony cabin. So I'll I'll show you what it's like. So this is the front door. It has safety information on it. Um, they have this as well, which you can put outside um, to let them know if you want your room cleaned. And it also activates the lights. So you've got a lovely full length mirror. It's actually really big. I'm quite surprised by the cabin. It's like a, a much different layout to Iona. Yeah, it is, yeah. Um, but I kind of like it because it has a separate little part here. So it's like a walk-in wardrobe. So it has shelves here with a safe. And then it has hanging space. And then also room up here. And then you have your life jackets. Also, it's quite good because you can tuck your cases away so that they don't have to be like in the main bit of the room. Then in here you have the bathroom. This is a little bit smaller than I own as one, but still very nice. Has white company hand wash, nice big mirror, some shelves up here. It has a bin down here, a toilet, towels, and then this is the shower. Just to let you know, it has shampoo, white company shampoo, and then white company bath and shower gel. So you don't have to bring those with you. So that's the bathroom. Considering it's a lot older ship than Iona, it's really well maintained. It's um, lovely and clean. And this is the main uh, sort of living area. So you have a very big bed. On either side, you have drawers. You have lamps on either side. Big mirror. Got some artwork here. 
a table here, a TV up here, tea and coffee station, and I believe, oh, that is the fridge. So, just a fridge in there, a chair, lovely big thick curtains, and then this is our balcony. <gasps> So got a view of Santa Cruz at the moment. Oh, I do love the cruise balcony. So you've got two chairs, a little table, and then you also have these that pull out so you can sunbathe. Oh, that sun is shining. We're a bit worried about the weather, but at the moment it's really lovely and hot. And then back inside you have a little table here, you've got a phone, you have a hairdryer inside here, so you don't have to bring your own hairdryer. Uh, I've got a cruise cards, and then just another bedside table on this side. So we have our horizons, so we're going to have a little look through that. No, I can't pick things out unless they're highlighted. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll unpack a little bit and then we'll check in with you in a little bit. So we're still waiting on Martin's case, but whilst we wait, we think we're going to head up, have a little explore. We probably won't film like everything that we explore because we are hoping to do a full ship tour. Um, but yeah, we thought we'd try and get our bearings a little bit. Go for a cup of tea. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. We literally went to open the door after we filmed that. And then Jennifer brought <laughs> the case. Jennifer was there with the case, but we're still going to head off and explore. But 20, at least we've got both our cases. 22.9. Heavy. Maximum was meant to be 22. I did put some of my toiletries in your case, so <laughs> you're not to blame. I am. So we're back in the cabin. Got a little paradise punch. And Martin got, what do you get? Got a my, cider. Non-alcoholic Copperberg. And we are just going to chill. Apologies, we didn't film um, much of the ship at all. We've got plenty of time to do Yeah, we've got plenty of time to do that. And we walked around, had a little explore. I put my... my shoesies in the little private I area. know, I like that little cut off <laughs> bit. Um, met my parents for a little uh, cup of tea. They've actually gone to the buffet to get a snack because they didn't eat lunch. Yeah. Bless them. So they, they're really hungry. We also had to go to the main restaurant to sort out the dining. We were a little um, disappointed because when we spoke to a P&O um, person at home, they said that they were going to link all of our cabins so that we could all be on the same table. And that, two separate bookings. Yeah, we had two separate bookings and that didn't happen. All three of the rooms were on different tables. So that was a little bit disappointing. So we want to be honest. Um, but luckily so then, we, we noticed that pretty quick, which yeah, is good. We noticed it quick. And then obviously it's no one on the ship's fault because they don't know. They were lovely, the person you spoke to. We spoke to the head waiter well, uh, yeah. or the head of the restaurant. So lovely, so helpful. And he sorted it all out for us. And now we are on the same table. Yeah. So that's all sorted. And that's about it. Then we headed back to the cabin and we're so going. We saw the few of the pools. Yeah. They were showing a film on one of the yeah. pools, which was cool. It was quite good sound as well. Mm. It was quite quiet, but you could like really hear. And then we came back and there's another horizon. I know, I haven't even looked at the first one. So it's been a busy embarkation day. A very different feel. A fly cruise is very different to getting on at Southampton, isn't it? Yeah, well, like Southampton, I mean, you were straight on and yeah. I don't know. It's very easy. You don't have the tiredness. For, well, it depends from where you're traveling. Yeah. But you don't have the tiredness of like I think flight. the four hour flight is catching up a little bit with me now. Like I am feeling a little bit tired. But I think after a shower yeah. and a little bit of like a rest, I think I'll pick up. I'm also, the for time food is later. well. The time's seven, and our dining reservation is half eight. So we actually don't have that long. Yeah, no, actually, we better get sorted because <laughs> we gonna, need to. Um, we're gonna head round your parents. For, yeah, uh, for a little like drink. Eight. So we're gonna <laughs> unpack, uh, have a little chill, and then we're gonna uh, head round to my parents for a little pre-dinner drink, and then the cruise is gonna truly begin because we're gonna <laughs> go for food, gonna watch some shows. Very exciting. I just realised they're all about Sean the Sheep on here, aren't they? I've got a Sean the Sheep t-shirt. You need to go to the... Um, the meet and greet. The meet and greet. There's some sort of trail around the that ship, That says Sean of the Dead, though. Yeah, because it's a Sean the Sheep version of Sean of the Dead. <laughs> so we're just unpacking. 
We've got Little Mermaid live action on and it's starting to get dark and I had a little look out and it looks so pretty. Look at the lights up there. Oh, I won't point because then it goes out of focus. We're just at the top of the uh, mountain. I'm so excited for Sail Away. It's going to be beautiful. Also, I'm just outside in a t-shirt and it's not actually that cold. I'll probably wear a blazer up on the top deck, but ah, this is the life. I love cruising. Just in my parents' cabin, they're on the other side of the ship. So this is the dock behind us. You can see some of the other ships sailing away. So this is my little outfit of the evening. I have my nobody's child dress on. I actually wore this on the first night of our cruise on Iona. Have my Anna Luisa jewelry, a little Primark bag, and then some little heeled sandals. So our starters have arrived. I've gone for the tomato soup and Mark has gone for the Caesar salad. Also, because it's an older P&O ship, they have the P&O cutlery. <laughs> so we actually didn't film uh, too much last night. We didn't do uh, like when we were gonna like talk about what we did during the evening when we got back to cabin, but we were both pretty zonked uh, after like the day's travel and stuff. So like last night was all about trying to get used to the ship and a bit of the layout and it's gonna take a little bit of time. Although I will say I went to the gym today and I think I've got that route down pat. Yeah, I think I know exactly how to get there now. <laughs> but um, yeah, so last night we went to the Oriental restaurant. So that's the restaurant that we're going to be in. Is this right? We're going to be there every night? Well, we have a table. So we have a table every in the... Every night. Oh, you can choose not to go. But you can choose not to go. You can go to you the buffet. You have to tell them. You yeah. just don't show up. Yeah, so we've got a table. Table 12. Uh, we're all on the same table. Yes. So uh, the food last night was amazing really though. really nice. I had the Caesar salad, the pan fried chicken, and Morning. fruit salad with some ice cream. Yeah, and I had tomato soup, steak, and then I had mint chocolate chip ice Ooh, cream. Yeah, it was good. And then we quickly ran up to, so we found a few of the other venues. We found the Manhattan venue where they were doing silent disco. Oh yeah. <laughs> Everyone was singing, it was the Grease Mega Mix <laughs> when we walked in. We went along, we went through, oh, what's it called? Malabar? Malabar, yeah. We walked through there, there was a busker playing, and then we went along to the Playhouse, which is the theatre, and we saw the show at 10.30, which was called On the Horizon. On the Horizon, yeah. And uh, like everyone in the show team was fantastic. Oh, it was so good. Headliners theatre show team, is that what they're yeah. called? Yeah. Um, the only thing I'd say about this show is that it, it felt a bit disjointed in terms of like there wasn't a theme. No, well there wasn't a theme that we understood if there no. was. Because it had like random songs and then it had like a James Bond medley, which was really good, yeah. but it was just a bit random. But mm. I think it was kind of that like welcome show vibe where yeah. it's just like singing, dancing. They, they had the band on stage, oh, which so was good. so nice. I wish you'd had that. Yeah. I know you did for some of the Some shows. of them we did um, on the Discovery, yeah. some of them. But it just elevates it having like a live band on. Yeah. So I love that and the whole show team were incredible. So I'm looking forward to like their other shows mm -hmm. because I'm hoping that they follow a bit more of like a story. Yeah. And then tonight there's a... Celtic a Celtic group aren't they for men yeah and they're going to do like mashups and stuff so that sounds good yeah and tonight's like the formal night the celebration night you've got to get the old dicky bow out but yeah. anyway it's only in the morning so that's like <laughs> that's much later it's quarter past eight so I went to the gym quickly which I didn't vlog but I'll show in a future one and we're going to go to the peninsula, peninsula. restaurant for breakfast yeah try and get in for breakfast um, what I will say is because we embarked on a day, because they do split embarkation, so we embarked the second day, it was like a full day's entertainment. Yeah. Because obviously there's people still on board, so it was very different to like a normal embark day, because normally they only have a few things on. Yeah. But it was, it was busy last night, there was mm. so much to do, so yeah, that definitely. was quite cool. And here is today's view. So it's a sea day, 
So it's one of those days where you see nothing but the sea. Yay! I was able to navigate our way. So it's just over there. And we're just waiting to see if your parents turn up. So we basically said half eight, anyone who wants to turn up. So we'll see who does. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is the atrium. So it's always a good like, because the atrium is always in the middle. So this is always a good, if you're a bit lost. Good checkpoint. And then you got the reception over there. And then I think this is where the captain's going to do a bit of a speech later, isn't he? <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, hello! <laughs> so mum and dad arrived. So back in the cabin, we went for breakfast at the Peninsula restaurant which is a restaurant on deck six. So same deck as the Oriental restaurant where we had dinner. And then we had breakfast, I had sourdough toast with avocado, which was really lovely. And Martin had granola, fruit. Fruit salad with a uh, slice, a few slices of toast. Yeah, but you can literally order anything you want. Um, there's like full Englishes, bacon, Eggs Benedict, um, so we'll probably try a few different breakfasts over the course of the cruise. Now we're just back in the cabin, we're gonna chill for a little bit and then we're gonna go and have a tea, I think. Have a little, and have a little drink. Oh. Um, meet my parents and yeah, decide what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. Well, the plan was that I was gonna go swimming, but we just went up to the top deck and <laughs> It's definitely not swimming weather. <laughs> um, it's quite windy and cold, so I'm gonna have to keep my jumper on. And hopefully I can get in the pool at some point this week if it brightens up a bit. But yeah, it's it's definitely not. It's too cold for me. Um, so yeah, we'll probably just do some stuff around the ship. So we've just come back to the cabin to put some sun cream on. Helena's gonna head up to the aft deck of number 15, <laughs> where our mum currently is, because the sun's a bit out there, it's a bit warm, and I'm gonna have a little roam around, and then we're gonna meet back up at quarter past 12, and I can't remember which pool that is. Get some lunch by the pool, they've got burgers, hot dogs, and pizza. Also bringing with me, just in case I sit down somewhere, bringing my book. So my brother one Christmas got me a load of Doctor Who books and I've been working my way through them. And this one I think is just a collection of short uh, stories. And this is mine. The oh. versions of us. Oh, yeah. I also You've put changed. on summer dress because hopefully the sun's going to stay out for a little bit. Mm -hmm. So get some sun. Um, but this is my book, The Versions of Us, which is One Day Meets Sliding Doors. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to read that. Right, you're stuck with me. So outside the lifts we've got some signs here and it tells you where it doesn't go as well as where it does go, which is helpful. Let's go down to deck number five, because we haven't been there. So as you go down the stairs you've got different pieces of artwork. We've chosen not to take the lift. So they had an art gallery on Iona, but this one is even bigger. It was just one stretch of corridor, whereas this one's like a little bit of corridor then around the corner and then there's just the gallery. It goes all the way around that side yes. as well. And then goes around here as well. And here we are at the atrium. So we've only been up the stairs, we haven't been down this part. They're doing a dance class at the moment with the show team. Just walked past this and didn't recognise her. But Darcy Bustle, CB, godmother to Azura, 10th of April 2010. There's another one. All the shops are open today because we're at sea. Can't open when we're in port, but when we set sail and when we're on a sea day, they can open. Just found these maps by reception. So you've got the different ports and then also the horizon. So I picked one up for tomorrow. So we found the sunbathing spot right at the top of the ship. <laughs> with these views. It's a bit windy, hopefully you can hear me. Look at this! This 
venue is called Manhattan and it's sort of based on New York obviously just found this glass cabinet with different vehicles and things inside New York taxi New York Monopoly so I think this is quite a popular one what I do like is that if it's busy they've got these screens it was the same on Iona in one of the venues so you can see in different parts they've got a spotlight never had that when I was hosting game shows <laughs> If you're new to the channel, Helen and I actually met through working on cruise ships. Uh, I started in 2013 and I worked on board the Thompson Dream, it was known then, and then the Morella Discovery. So those are the two ships that I worked on during my time. But I did from like on and off, it was like 2013 uh, through to 14, I had a year off, then 15 is when I met Helena, and then some time off again, went back and then we finished properly. Uh, in 2019, Helena was in the show team, and uh, I was well. I was an entertainment host, then assistant cruise director, then cruise director. So like venues like this, where they do game shows and stuff. I mean, that's where I spent most of my time. So it really brings back, even though they're different, you know, they're themed differently. There's something very similar about all of these sorts of rooms uh, on ships. It still gives me that feeling of it was called the Medusa Lounge uh, on the Thompson Dream, and then it was the Squid and Anchor. Uh, on the Discovery. And they're always this shape. And also they always have these chairs. <laughs> Just come out to the promenade deck. Look at those waves. Has been a bit swelly on the ship. So it's sort of been moving a little bit. Not too bad though. So I'm walking to the front of the ship. And then the aft of the ship, the back of the ship, that's where the Manhattan venue was. So the theatre they're actually using as a cinema today and they're going to be showing Oppenheimer. I found Helner and uh, so it wasn't a performance but it's like a, a request hour with the music. I was just showing Martin where I was sunbathing. Right. <laughs> oh yeah, it's right over there. I don't know if you see it through the glass. It's right there. Right at the back. We were just saying this ship has so many hidden sunbathing spots and like decks. So like you can find a sunbed. Yeah, good. there's loads. So we're just gonna enjoy some tunes. You can hear them in the background. Hopefully we don't get copyrighted. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna enjoy some burgers from the Coral Bar Grill. Or Coral Pool Grill. Not sure what it's called, but it's the grill by the included. Coral Bar. Yeah, this is included in your cruise fare. So a nice little lunch. So we thought we would give the syndicate quiz a go. We've never done one of these. <laughs> it's in the Manhattan. General knowledge. A general knowledge quiz. So we're going to see how we uh, how we do. But we've never done. We think you might have to bring the answer sheet up after each individual question. There's Martin. Just handed our uh, our answer in. We're going to get our steps in during this quiz. <laughs> Running. Eager. How do you think we did? did I didn't look. You did? There was only yeah. like one answer in, I think. Oh. That, when I, we were quick. How do you think we're going to fare? That's it, right in what country you think it is. <laughs> it is a team number 17, where are you? Woohoo! So I'm going to give you the gold stickers. Let's give team 17 now. Well, the winning team got 12, we got 6. Yeah, so we got half what the winning team got. <laughs> yeah, we'll take that, we'll take that. Well done. <laughs> We were, we were robbed! <laughs> we did very well. It'd be interesting Good to job. know where we came. We got six. Yeah, it would be on there, I think. So Martin just checked the, um, the, board. the leaderboard and apparently we came fourth. Yay. That's yeah. alright, isn't it? That's alright. Well done, team. Well, we could have um, got better people. <laughs> Put 12 I know. <laughs> we should have listened to our gut on a few. There's also a Disney question. Listen to Martin. <laughs> no. Um, put in the comments if you know the answer to this question. Mm. It was who did Walt Disney model Tinkerbell off of? Yeah. So it's a famous person. Yeah. Pop in the comments if you know. We did get it right, but we weren't sure. Mum got that right actually. And Martin. Oh, was it Martin? I think it's Martin. Was I just it? endorsed it. <laughs> it's Martin. I needed the backup though, otherwise it wouldn't get written down. <laughs> I went to put Kylie Minogue and then I was like, nah, I'm in the wrong time frame. <laughs> yeah. 
So back in the cabin, I think the last time we vlogged was at the quiz, which was actually really good fun in the end. We could have won if David was there. Yeah, because my dad went to watch a film that was on in the Playhouse Theatre, so he couldn't do the quiz with us. And then we met him and then we went for afternoon tea. And during afternoon tea, we basically quizzed him and we asked him all the questions that we didn't get and he got every single one. So had he been in our team, we would have won. So I said to him, next C day, he's not watching any films. He is, he has to do the quiz with us because I want to win. But we just come back to the cabin and I think it's sunny in our balcony, look. It's actually turned into such a nice day and we were wondering whether we were on the right side for sun and it actually is sunny. Oh yeah, it's hot out here. Yeah. <gasps> so we think we're going to put some sun cream on, put on our swimming stuff and have a little bit of a sunbathe out here before formal night. Oh, this is perfect. I can't actually see it's if it's recording, so hopefully it is. <laughs> but the sun is literally beaming on our balcony. Very happy. I did not think it was going to be this sunny, especially not on the balcony. So we are ready for formal night. Yes. Nice I've had this jacket Martin. for a long time. In fact, I think it's time for a new one. It's uh, very nice. For future. But yeah, this has been with me for. So many years. Colour. Apologies, I'm just eating a little mint. <laughs> um, but this is my outfit. It's a new um, ASOS dress. Oh, ship just wobbled them. <laughs> and then I have little new look nude heels on and a black bag. Good evening. Good evening. And first and foremost, a very warm welcome on board the amazing and wonderful Azura. And my goodness, have we got a cruise lined up for you? It is our first formal night, so thank you very much for making the effort this evening. The first gentleman I would like to introduce you to is my deputy, my deputy captain. He was recently promoted. This is his first trip as deputy captain. He's very insecure. Um, I have told him that normally the deputy captain gets a really big round of applause, so please don't let me down. Alex, deputy captain. So we are back in the cabin. I've got pajamas on, and we had such a lovely formal night. Um, I know we filmed a few clips, um, but I'll sort of chat through it a little bit because I didn't um, chat too much when we were out and about. We were actually really busy, so we went to the captain's reception where the captain did like a welcome speech and introduced all the officers and managers and we went there and then we went straight to, oh we got a picture with the captain, all of us and then we went to the Oriental restaurant for our celebration night dinner which was really really good um, I'm trying to remember what I had now I had salmon to start then I had chicken Kiev um, and then I had a brownie tart mm. for dessert. All really good. All Martin's was really good as well, wasn't it? Yeah, I had the same starter as you, but then I had the beef. The beef. Uh, but that was really, really yummy. So we did that and then that pretty much took us right up until half ten, which is where we went to the Playhouse Theatre and watched the Celtic Harps. 
um, which was four men and they did well they did like an assortment of songs all with an Irish twist so they did some like classic Irish songs but then they also did an Irish twist on like modern songs and different songs and they were amazing really really good show it went by so fast like by the end I was like I can't believe that's been 45 minutes like it felt like 15 minutes it was it was just really really good and they are actually going to be performing again on the cruise um a different show so we will definitely go to that because we were so impressed really really love that and then we've just come back to the cabin because it is well it's five to twelve now and we are hoping to get off the ship in madeira tomorrow at half eight <laughs> so it's going to be quite an early start because we're going to want to go for breakfast first as well um so we thought we would head back to the cabin and get a good night's sleep before madeira which is so exciting so we're going to be docked in madeira tomorrow so that will be in the next vlog and we have a good action-packed day planned so fingers crossed we managed to do all the things that we want to do there so we're gonna leave this vlog here, get some sleep. So I hope you enjoyed the first cruise vlog. Yeah, if you've enjoyed, hit the like button and also subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Toodle pipskies.